For our second experiment, we'll be making juice gel balls with gelatin and fruit juice. The process of making these juices into spheres is part of molecular gastronomy. Many chefs around the world use molecular gastronomy to make unique dishes. But these chefs use hard to find substances such as sodium alginate. And we wanted to find a substitute that's more readily available. We saw in a recipe made by Make Magazine, uh, listed under Juicy Gelatin Dots, a recipe that calls for gelatin, which can be readily found in any store. The secret to making these gelatin spheres is to drop the gelatin juice into chilled oil. Pour the oil into the glass and put it in the refrigerator overnight. First, pour 20 milliliters of powdered unflavored gelatin. Then, pour 45 milliliters of cold water and mix. While the gelatin is solidifying, warm up 90 milliliters of juice. I use my grandma's juice. Slowly pour the hot juice into the gelatin and mix. While you're waiting for the mixture to cool, create an ice bath for the oil. Remember, the cooler the oil is, the better the dots will come. Now take the gelatin mixture and slowly drop it into the oil. You can put one or two or three drops at the same time before it forms. See how beautiful they look. The way it works is, the gelatin keeps the juices all together, and when you place it in a liquid of higher density, such as oil, the surface tension keeps it together and makes it into this roundish shape. Like right here. I wonder what happens if you do it in anti-gravity. That's a cool experiment. Remember to wash it in water before you eat it, otherwise it tastes like oil. I hope you had fun watching this video and we will continue to do edible sciences throughout the year.